Hey, and welcome to today's podcast. This is Michael Beckia with Brilliant Perspectives. Join us for a clip from Graham's classic teaching, A Certain Sound. There are so many voices in our world vying for dominance and to be heard. But Graham reminds us in this clip that we need to come boldly before the throne of grace to hear the one voice that truly matters. And the more heavenly minded we are, the more earthly good we can do. I want to talk to you this evening about um, <clears throat> a certain sound. Because, uh, you know, the world is full of sounds right now. It's full of voices. And not every voice we're hearing is good. And I'm talking about both inside and outside the church. Not every voice we're hearing is good. And it's important these days that we are able to discern the voices and the words that we're hearing. Because it's never been more critical than it is right now. The world is awash with deception. Uh, There are voices out there in the world right now that would happily lead us to destruction. Some of those voices preceded this recession. We followed certain voices, certain perceived wisdoms, and we're suffering because of it. There are voices out there And you need to be able to tune out the voices that are not helpful. And tune in the voices that will really sustain you on the journey ahead. There are Christian voices that need to be tuned out, I believe. This is a hard thing to say, guys. But there are voices out there in the Christian world that will not help us to grow up in all things in Christ. I would say probably these last few days, you've come face to face with a number of things that maybe you need to unlearn. Unlearning is a major part of growing up. I only stopped believing in the tooth fairy four months ago. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. (laughs) It was five months ago. (laughs) There are things that we've been taught that we're actually reassessing and reevaluating right now. There are truths that we were familiar with for years and now we're realizing that there are actually deeper truths than those. And we're coming to terms with a deeper truth and a deeper expression of spirituality. There are things that we have grown up thinking that God is like this and now we're discovering that he's actually completely different than that. We are unlearning things. And it's really important that we check all of our perceived truth against the nature of God and the real truth of the gospel. And you drive the bus of your life between those two major points. What is God really, really, really like? There's a point when Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? And he got back four distorted images. You know, you're John the Baptist, which was a little disturbing, because he'd just been murdered a few months ago. That wasn't helpful. Oh, you're Jeremiah, or Elijah, Ezekiel, one of the prophets. Four distorted images.
And he said, who do you say that I am? And Peter just blurts out, you're the Christ, the son of the living God. You have to get your voice right. Peter had come. He'd heard all those voices too. But he'd heard the voice of Jesus. And it's really important that you know who Jesus is for you. Your testimony is not what you were like before you got saved. That's your history. Your testimony is, this is what God is like for me all the time. This is what I'm discovering. This is what I'm enjoying. This is who God is for me. This is my testimony of the nature of God in my life. And I have physical, tangible evidence of the nature of God in my life. I can tell you story after story after story after story after story. I have too much evidence. I know what God is like. I hope you were blessed by that. This really is a word for our times, which is amazing because it was originally recorded years ago. That's the thing about timeless truth, still just as relevant and impactful years, even generations down the line. I just love this thought as well. The more in touch with heaven you are, the more powerful the expression of your life on earth. (laughs) What an inspiration, isn't it? An incredible invitation to live a life full of majesty and wonder, which is a life full of him. I'm also thinking about another phrase Graham mentioned. You need to be able to tune into the voices that will really sustain you on the journey ahead. Beloved, that is worth meditating on and bringing up with the Lord in prayer. What voice, whether from outside yourself or inside yourself, do you need to tune out? And what is the Father wanting you to hear that will have a radical potential for sustaining you and propelling you? You know He wants to show you more. He's so good like that. So go, go on that journey with Him. He's ready. Let's continue as believers to put an end a real end to business as usual. It doesn't work. It doesn't feed our souls. It's not what God has. God has more than we could ask or imagine. And newness and beauty, overwhelming revelation in heaven, in the nature of Christ, in our relationship with him. So let's press into that and make a brilliant new move towards the kingdom of God. We are all a part of that in Christ. Hey, Thank you for listening today and have a wonderfully blessed week in Jesus. Remember, God cares about you immensely and thinks about you always.